Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now let's solve this problem which says that the force applied at the handle of the rigid lever causes the lever to rotate clockwise about the pin B through an angle of 2 degrees. Determine the average normal strain developed in each wire. The wires are unstretched when the lever is in the horizontal position. So the lever is in the horizontal position and the force is applied at point E uh, which gives the lever an, an angle of 2 degrees rotation, right? So a clockwise rotation is being done like this and we are have 2 degree rotation. So the new position of the handle will look like this. You guys can see. And there will be a change in length of wire CG and the change in length of wire DF as well as the change in length of wire AH. So let's say that this, this is the change in length of wire DF, this is the change in length of wire CG and this is the change in length of wire AH. And there is a small angle rotation that is 2 degrees. So for, as we know that 2 degree is very small angle, we will use the small angle approximation and we can say that this uh, small change this change due to that small degree angle will be we can find it by using s is equal to r theta formula so we can say that the change in length of ah will be equal to the radius times the angle and the angle is 2 degrees. So first of all, we have to convert this angle 2 degrees into radians. So we can say that theta is equal to 2 degrees and we know that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. So we can say that this will be 4 pi divided by 360 or we can say pi divided by 90 radians. So theta is equal to pi divided by 90 radians. Now for, for this change, this will be the radius and we are considering that, that this change is like uh, on a circumference of a circle that's why we are using s is equal to r theta but the, the, but the change in angle is uh, so small that this uh, arc is approximately we can consider that that's, this arc is approximately a straight line. So that's why we are using a small angle approximation and we can say that the change in length of wire ah is equal to r theta. So we can say that the radius is 200, the radius will be will be a distance from B to A dash or we can say from B to A which is 200 mm. So 200 multiplied by theta is theta 2 degree in radian is pi divided by 90. So, so we can say that 200 or we can say pi divided by 90 multiply by 200 this gives me 6.981 so we can say that this is equal to 6.981 mm similarly we can say that the change in length of wire cg will be again equal to the radius but now the change in length of wire cg now the radius will be this 300 mm so 300 into theta again theta is pi divided by 90 this is equal to so we can say that pi divided by 90 multiply by 300 so this is 10.472 mm and similarly the change in length of wire df will be equal to so for for this change the radius is this much, this is 500, 300 plus 200, so 500 into pi divided by 90. So we can say pi divided by 90 into 500, this is equal to 17.453 mm. Now since we were asked to find the strain in each wire, so we can say that the normal strain in wire AH will be equal to the change in length of in wire AH divided by its original length original length of wire AH so this is equal to now the change in length 
of wire a h is 6.981 so we can say 6.981 divided by its unstretched length or the initial length which is 200 mm so divided by 200 so this is equal to 6.981 divided by 200 so this is equal to 0 0.0349 millimeter per millimeter similarly the strain the normal strain in wire cg is again the change in length of wire cg so the change in length in wire cg is 10.472 so 10.472 divided by its initial length or we can say that the unstretched length so the unstretched length is 300 mm both these of both the cg and df wires have a length of 300 mm so divided by 300 so we can say that this is 10.472 divided by 300 so this is equal to 0 0.0349 millimeter per millimeter and similarly the normal strain in wire df is equal to the change in length for YDF, which is 17.453, so 17.453 divided by its unstretched length or initial length, which is 13, 300. So we can say that 17.453 divided by 300. This is equal to 0 0.0582 millimeter per millimeter. So this is how we can use the small angle approximation and we can find the change in length of each wire and then using the normal strain formula we can find the strain, uh, the normal strain in each of these wires. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.